Alright, so before we start this video, I just want to say what's been happening in the big and small communities on YouTube with the drama that's been going on. Not much has been going on. Jake Paul said that, um, that he met Donald Trump today, although I do not believe him. Because the guy he showed, it didn't look like Donald Trump, and I think Jake Paul was just making another clickbait video. And also, RiceGum lied when he said he was going to take a break when he hit 10 million subscribers. Instead, he decides to play Fortnite with Keemstar, and he's still exploiting his fans to, to uh, Alyssa Violet when they can't when they don't have access to Pornhub browsers or when they don't have the money to buy a Playboy magazine. So anyways, now we've got that out of the way. Now it's time to talk about this commentary. Now this is a person that I like. His name is Puddle of Pizza and he he's made a great commentaries on other people such as Night Miner. Oh who else? Jeffy is God, and another person that I forgot his name, but, um, this guy makes great commentaries, and, uh, he ranted on, he made a commentary on my friend, Sub to David Land, and this is the first commentary that has ever been made on my friend, I just want to see how it goes, so, anyways, let's get on with the video in three, two one go oh by the way i skipped the intro because i wanted to save time well that is true i mean i've asked him many times if he could change his content a bit and i've said that he that i've said that he needs to change his content, otherwise it wouldn't look good if he just made videos on Dab H Dude. So, that is what I wanted to uh, tell him, and that's what I've been telling him for a little while. I'm just gonna skip this because it's a lot of videos. You get the gist here. Yeah, the reason why that uh, that doesn't work is because it's not really a double standard where it's okay for Dab H Dude to make videos on SML, but it's not okay to for David to make videos on Dab H Dude. No, it's not like that. It's because SML is mainstream and Dab H Dude is not a mainstream YouTuber. And another difference is that David rants on a person, uh, Dab H Dude rants on a show. An online show. Well, I have to say, I mean, David did kind of want attention, but trust me, he was still pissed because a lot of people were lying about him, saying that, uh, making up some some crap about him saying that he goes on to live streams or he or he bothers Dab H Dude's fans which isn't true. I mean I've never seen him harass any of his fans but yeah but I just wanted to get over that hump as well. And yes, I do have to agree, they were both wrong in so many ways, but David just overkilled it with, what, about 10, 15 videos, I think? Yeah, this is a thing that I don't, uh, 
that I have a problem with. He says he's a critic, but I mean, I only sometimes see him critique. I don't really see him critiquing a lot of people. I only see him making rants on Dab H Dude. Sometimes he critiques, but some, but it's rare that he reviews. But with Dab H Dude, it's a balance. It's it's a third of reviewing, a third of critiquing, and a third of ranting. And yes, I do have to agree. Some of the arguments from David, they are good, but I mean, they're mostly recycled and they're mostly reused as well from his older videos. And I would just have to say he would need to bring up some more arguments or create new points in his videos. Now to get into my first point, the blocking. So it's not fair for him to block me. This is at the time when he didn't, when he had, I'd still been blocked and we weren't friends exactly. But um, he unblocked me, so that was pretty good. I was saying that was unfair because um he does because Logan wouldn't just block Dabbage dude for being mean to him so um and annoying him. He just unblocked me and like listen to people like and the thing is not to just listen to me specifically, listen to many other people. Yeah, Dabbage Dude will not listen to you if you're being mean, but, uh, David wasn't really being mean. Well, he's sometimes mean, but, uh, he realized that he was being mean, so he's toned his, he's toned his rants down a bit, but he's still the same person. I mean, he still has the same mindset. I mean... He still pretty much doesn't like Dab H Dude and he still pretty much disagrees with Dab H Dude on his tactics and his and his rants on SML. So nothing different there. Pretty good YouTuber, actually. Gotta be honest, his YouTube videos are really good. The only problem I have is that Dab H Dude only usually only takes his advice from um Mapped Ominous and I was like, Well he doesn't um take advice from others, like I've never seen him go and ask other people for advice. I mean, maybe he might ask other people, and that's good. But he's probably not going to ask anyone. Yeah, he takes advice from lots of people. He doesn't take a lot of advice from his fans, but he takes a lot of advice from the most liked people around the community, such as Luigi Channel 50, this person that I'm commentating on right now, and a few other people as well. Like Megadupe, or, well, yeah, I kind of understand. But someone like me who isn't exactly on his side because he wants to talk to people who are only on his side, which is, I understand, but he should still try to listen to others. Accepting criticism. The thing that this is the only thing I did disagree with because he only gave out one screenshot from uh, from David's channel, and trust me, there are more videos with the with similar titles like these. But you have to understand. I mean, the reason why he said this was because he was. Frust getting frustrated with the dislike because nobody gave him a reason for some of his videos, but on most of his videos, they did give him a reason on why they disliked it. And I would have to say, I mean, I would have to say that he shouldn't have been complaining too much. I mean, most of his videos that had dislikes did, uh, did have reasons. 
on why they dislike. Debbie, dude, no offense, but you're not really good at accepting criticism because when I first um, said some stuff about um, uh, you, you got pretty angry about it um, because I said some pretty good points. I don't exactly remember because most of my tweets um, I had with you are like just not there because, you know, you blocked me, so I'd have to see it again, and that's kind of hard to do so um i was um he thinks that most of his uh, most criticisms on him um don't make any sense he has um many um valid um criticisms against him like the fact that he's like um that he hates chili there's also the fact that he doesn't help um super mario logan which uh, i've said in the past but um he's helped him at some points but some points you could say that he doesn't help him like if you go to his Twitter, you'll see a lot of um, memes basically um, spread around um, about um, Logan. Um, the meanness to Logan. At times, he can be very mean to Logan, and he gets mad when um, Logan does certain things. So that he's um, so he's really mean to Logan. Like, um, but I actually kind of feel sad because I mean. Davish dude did pay him and pay him hundreds of dollars like repeatedly for like each month. Be a bit kinder to Logan because I've said in the past that he he needs to be a bit kinder. He's been yes, I do agree. Logan does deserve to be called out for most of the bad things that he does and I think that's why Dab H Dude needs to be around. I mean, if we didn't have Dab H Dude, then who's going to be there to critique Logan and SML? I need to stop giving him advice, which um, is kind of unfair for him to say that because um, he doesn't um, um, he doesn't like, we wouldn't accept it if like Logan was like um, well, I don't want you to, I'm not going to accept advice from you. So he would get all mad and stuff, right? Damage dude would usually get um, mad about him saying something like that and not, you know, just listening to his advice. But when I told him that he should listen to my advice, he wasn't really too kind about it. And he was saying that since I wasn't a damage dude critic, I mean, he changed now because he because he says that um, now I don't really have to call him a I'm calling myself a damage dude critic to, you know, review him and stuff, which is good. And, um... That was um, one of the um, points I've been saying to um, telling um, people to stop giving him advice because they're telling me that isn't really fair because he gives Logan advice. Even if Logan doesn't want to take it, he'll still listen to it, which is good. This was, uh, this was just a simple joke. I mean, I'm only just announcing that. Now we're going to get to a part um, where I talked about in a video. He says that he rarely insults people, but um, go to Twitter. Th that, that basically speaks for itself. Now that I think about it, I think um, b before I've been a jerk, but now that I think about it, Nightminer is w a bit worse than Dabbage Dude at times because um, at times Dabbage Dude can be a jerk. But I feel like now that I think about it, I wasn't really thinking right. And like compared to everyone else, um, Nightminer is just the worst. Like, I understand why Dabbage Dude was, like, getting um, mean to him. But he... This was when Nightminer and David were arguing with each other, but now they're friends again. Um, but Dabbage Dude did, um, does um, do similar things, like making jokes about, you know, Jewish people and, like, you know, how like, their entire left. race almost got like, extinct because of, you know, Hitler. And he makes jokes all the time. <laughs> Um, also, so that's why I was like, well, he laughs about, it's kind of jokes about those people dying, but, um, when it comes to, um, Nightminer doing it, it's not really, it's way worse, because I understand, I feel sad that he's, um, laughing at this person's mom dying, like, seriously, Nightminer is a terrible person at times. I mean, I kind of have to agree, if you're just, if you're making a video and you're just, um, praising damage to it, it kind of, you know, messes up the video. I guess that's going to be the end of the video, and I'll see you next time.